So in this video, I'm gonna talk about adding a regular text element to a typo three page. And here we're already logged in and I'm on this completely empty page. First thing to note is that the page is divided into several sections. We've got an intro, header, content, and footer. And each one of those has got an add content element button within it. Now, different Typo3 sites will be configured in different ways. So when you're looking at your own website, you might not have those exact same sections, but it's just important that you consider where you're actually placing the content elements that you add. And that goes for any content element, not just the regular text element that I'm gonna cover in this video. Nine times out of 10, you'll be placing your content into the content element. So it's just worth noting that and make sure you're putting your content in there unless you specifically know and have a reason to be putting it in one of the different areas. So if we click the create new element button, it will open up the new content element page where we've got this uh, set of tabs with all of the different types of content we can add in Typo3. And in this typical page content tab, we've got our regular text element. Now the regular text element is by far the most used of the elements within Typo3. And that's why I'm just gonna cover that in this video. And I'll be doing other videos to cover other elements. So if we click on the regular text element, what it will do is it will automatically create a new element and it will take us into that element so that we can start adding it. And you can see within here, we have got the type of element and we can, you know, you can actually, once you've created a, a regular text element, you could, if you wanted to, change it into a different type of element. We've also got space for a header. So this would be for a heading. There we go, so that's a heading. And within it, uh, just beneath the header, we've also got type. So here we can decide whether we want it to be a H1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. And you may have some different options here depending on the configuration of your own site. I'm gonna leave this as a heading two. And then this is the main bit here. So this is the content area. And what we're gonna do is we're going to put some text in here. I'm just gonna get some dummy text for the sake of this example, and I'm gonna just paste that in to the box. Now, within this, we've got this rich text editor that you may be familiar with from using other websites where you can style and make the text look as you want it to. However, there's just a few things that you need to take into account. If you're copying and pasting content from Word documents, PDF documents, or elsewhere, on the internet or um, from emails, for example, the chances are there's gonna be some formatting attached to your text, which you don't want. So what we can do is we can select that text in there and this sweeping brush icon allows us to remove any formatting. And MS Word format tends to be the one that is most common, so we will say okay to that. And you can see how that immediately changed the look of this text. So within here, let's just break this text up a little bit. So if I click enter, we could say, we could select this line here, and this drop down here, we can also choose different types of formatting to be applied. So we might say this, let's make this a heading three. Perhaps further down, we might have some list content. So let me just create some bullet points here. So these three items here, let's imagine they're a list. So here, just like in a word processing software, we've got a numbered list or a bulleted list. So we can click that and make that into a list. If we click enter, it will automatically add a paragraph break. We can make words bold with the B icon, or we can make words italicized like so. 
And we can also add links to content. If we select the word that we want to link, this globe icon here allows us to link. So if we click that, it opens up a new window and we've got these tabs so we can cut to a page in the site, link to a page in the site, or we can link to an external URL. Let me link to this as an example. And we click set link and there it is. You can also view, and this is not something that uh, everybody will want to do, but you can also click this code icon and it will show you the actual HTML that's creating the content and how it's wrapping things in the certain classes. So if you are familiar with HTML and something's not quite looking the way you want it to, then you might feel comfortable to look in here and just see if there are some misplaced tags or open tags or whatever. So then once you've put your content in and you're happy with the way that it looks, up here you can save it just by clicking or you can click this drop down and use save and close which is what I tend to most commonly do. So then when we come back to the page we can view this page on the front end. Let me just refresh that and you can see that here's our heading that we added. We've got our heading here, the heading 3, our bold, all of the different styles and whilst it doesn't look the same when you're editing it in the back end of the site, if you use the formatting options that are defined within the text element, then the content will look as it's intended to look. So that's adding basic text elements to a page. I hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching.